Hey guys, what's going on? Lucky here. Uh, happy Friday. Happy quarantine Friday. Well, me and Mark are sequestered over here at the uh, Lucky's garage working on buckets. Uh, just wanted to touch bases on that tailgate. <laughs> Spent some time installing those. A couple weeks ago, was it? Yeah. I figure I'm not really hiding from anybody driving this thing on the street. I'm not blending anymore. If somebody hears a racket and looks over and sees this truck, they're not going to go, oh, that's just an old truck. They're going to, what the heck, why not? So if you hear some racket, these are the people that help make it happen. Uh, specifically, QA1, hashtag go drive it. Specifically, Holly. Some Holly Fest right there. Um, I got some Dirty Dingo Love on here. Uh, I listen to C10 Talk pretty frequently. Simpson hooked me up with some seat belts. Uh, I don't have any AFR heads on here. I don't know if you can hear that clearly. I don't have any AFR heads on here. Just saying, I got them on my other cars, but I just don't have any on here. <laughs> I do got a Be Cool radiator in here, and it works great. Very Is that subtle? Very I got MSD. I got uh, Tick Performance hooked me up with some Comp Love and some uh, anything else I could get. Hawk brake pads are right there, right next to the Lucky Garage. And then this guy from a club called Gurk I hang out with all the time. That's Gas Rats Customs right there. Um, I do have an ATI dampener on here because it comes with the Holly mid mount accessory drive. Um, do love the AMS oil. I do have a Yanks converter along with a Gearstar transmission in this thing. In addition to all that, all of my artwork and decals are made by American Screen Printing LLC. Those are the Vibrolas, the best damn band in Kentucky. In case you didn't know. My wheels are Asagian wheels. They're right there. Asagian. And, uh, the big brakes I have on this thing are all bear brakes right there. So yeah, everybody got love. I think I represented everybody, right? Only thing that's not on here is my new instrument cluster from um, Intellitronics. And I think that's really about it. So what's an update? Any update on this thing? I got the, oh, I don't have an HPI sticker back there. How can that happen? HPI chassis reinforcement kit on here. Um, turbo is just some turbo that was left laying around. Um, I went online and bought me the DEI titanium wrap. Um, wastegate was CX. And the blow off valve is now precision. And I have a precision wastegate. I have to do some modifications to get that on there. There's the uh, remaster from Bear. Um, the Holly Midmount accessory drive down in there. Um, I really, I think that's about it. Are you gonna get some new oil coolers? Oh, did I not mention the new oil coolers, Mark? I'm just saying. So, Earl's makes a super wicked oil cooler with fans built into a transmission or oil cooler. I got two of those puppies coming. They are a little spendy, but they do the job, worth every bit of it. So I noticed the other day when I was driving the truck, me and Mark, looked down at the trans temperature and it was a little bit, I was right around 200 degrees, should not be there, should be around 180. And uh, I called um, my buddy over at Holly and said, hey, what do you guys got for a trans cooler or oil cooler that I can use? And he told me about, I told him how much space I had to work with, and he told me exactly what he had. And I just gave my debit card. Doesn't even matter. It's going to save my transmission and uh, make things work good. So that's what's uh, up. Spent all day, well, not all day yesterday. Spent a couple hours yesterday getting the pinion angle absolutely right. And you know what made it extra easy? Lumber from Home Depot, ladies and gentlemen. And a circular saw. And Mark from Gas Rats Customs, who has been sequestered here for a week or so. And I think he's regretting his, uh, regretting his decision. This is my last day. This is his last day. 
Um, there is the Guac and Roll 29 Roaster from Hot Rod Garage. It's coming together slowly. Something showed up yesterday, which would be kind of cool. Well, you know what? I should probably save that for another video entirely. Oh, you know what I can share? Is this Roadster right here. So Mark over at Hot Rod Performance referred this Roadster to me. It's a steel body. Custom Roadster. This thing is exceptionally nice. And I asked the guy why he built it. He said it was one of his bucket lists. Got real Halibrands on it. 15s and 14s, sort of period correct. That suspension look familiar? It should. It's the same thing that's on that rusty pile of crap over there, the guac and roll. Except for that one over there, it's got suicide steering. This one has different style steering. But the same front suspension. Basically everything over there, if it was really nice, this is what it would look like. That makes sense, right? There's a steering rack right here. We don't have that. We should have got that. Man, that's kind of cool. But this is what we got for now. So the problem was he had a little bit of vibration at a normal speed. He changed the ring and pinion and the ride height. And this thing is a little sensitive. If you change the ride height a little, you have to readjust the pinion angle. So that's what we just did. I used the app from, it's actually on my phone. It was from, Trimic, the Trimic Toolbox. If you download that, the top drawer says there is a kit for, or a formula for it. And you actually use your iPhone. You set your iPhone on the tool. As a matter of fact, you know what? I want to switch cameras right now. Are you recording? Is that thing on? It's on. Okay, shutting this down kit here. For, or a formula for it. And you actually use your iPhone. You set your iPhone on the tool. As a matter of fact, you know what? I want to switch cameras right now. Are you recording? Is that thing on? It's on. Okay, shutting this down here. Boop. And I will close that out. There's a trimming gap right there. Can you see it? Boop. There's the formula right there. But let's just reset everything. The Trimic Toolbox hit Drive's Line Angle Finder. A bunch of writing. I don't ever read it. Boom. Close that out. It asks you what the form, what the Step one, actually in those words, the word button, the word pictures that was on there, they would ask you to check the angle of your motor. So you come up here and find a flat level on the motor. Luckily, we have one, I can't really get in there, so I'm just gonna kinda, we already did it, use the pan, which should be relatively level. Seems about right. Boop, you set that, you move to step two. Step two is the drive shaft. You gotta shoot from this side because it has to be parallel and even. It says about 1.7. Boom, done. Now you go to the pinion angle. And you, I'm using the mounting surface right here on the side of the phone. Close that out so you can see. Should be right around, oops, I just called somebody, my bad. Should be right around one degree. Set. Actually, I missed it. I'm gonna go back one and try the bottom of the phone. Set, there you go. If they're all green, it's all good. Green for go. That is the uh, Trimic Toolbox. You need to download that if you're gonna do this. And I actually have another phone, I'm gonna put that in there and just use it as a tool. Like Mark, a tool. Thanks. I'm there for you, buddy. So that's it. Hold on, let me save this because they're all green. Green is good. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like, share, tell a friend, leave a comment, say hi. See you later.